here it is. Unbelievable. Are you ready for a weekend of delicious fun? Hey everyone, Dave K here today for a fun-filled weekend day in Dallas, Texas. I'm glad to be able to spend some more time exploring some sites with you today. Hopefully, I'm thinking I'll do White Rock Lake. Today, I'm starting off at the Biscuit Bar. You may have seen me see this one in the past and think to myself, I gotta try it. I went to Red Sticks here right on the same block. I got parking here on the side and I thought to myself, I have to try this restaurant here. It looks so good, Biscuit Bar. Let's give it a shot. Then maybe we'll check out that lake and I'll walk around some parks. We'll see what the day looks like. Let's do it. Don't forget to make it an amazing and positive day as well. I hope you have a fantastic one. And remember to focus on the positives. Let's do it. This is the Biscuit Bar. Hopefully the music won't be so loud inside, but it looks like they kind of have an outdoor patio in addition to that main restaurant. And it's on the same block here as the Smoothie King and the Red Sticks. Let's check it out. Here on my phone, I have the menu. I scanned the little barcode right over there. Here's a look around the restaurant. You kind of order at the counter, a lot like a Torchy's, and then I guess you find your own table kind of in that patio area or in here, inside. So we'll see how that goes. I gotta look through the menu, see what sounds good, and we'll, we'll get going. In front of me on the wall, you can see the biscuit menu as well. Look at the variety of different biscuit styles here. It looks fantastic. Everything from French toast style biscuits to a chicken sandwich or classic bacon, egg and cheese sandwiches really looks fantastic here. And of course, tots and drinks and other options. Nice to see what they got going on here. We'll see what sounds good. Another biscuit I'm looking at here is the pumpkin pie biscuit. That sounds really good. I'm not sure if it's a dessert because it does look like they do dessert biscuits here. We'll have to see, uh, we'll have to ask them at the front, you know, see, see what sounds good. There's a lot of good looking options. If you're not a biscuit person, you do have these tots right here, of course, salads and kids food and cocktails, but these tots look quite good too. I can see they've got taco style, breakfast style, a lot of tot options. I'm gonna have a tough time deciding here. I'm looking at maybe that chicken and not a waffle sounds really good. The pumpkin pie biscuit sounds really good. I'm not sure if it's got any protein going on. We'll see, maybe I should get multiple biscuits here. Maybe I'll try one and then get back in line for more. But the line is kind of long here too. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Please. So I've got my seat here all the way in the back of the restaurant. Oh yeah, take a look at what I'm eating here. I got the chicken and waffle. He recommended the Hoss and I think maybe I'll try that next time. I didn't have the menu in front of me as I was ordering. I just remembered that this one sounded good. But then looking at the menu again, Hoss sounds really good too. So the chicken and waffle is like a biscuit French toast here. Look at that, the biscuit French toast looks beautiful with that fried chicken on the inside. We've got kind of a maple syrup and the whipped cream looks like on the side. Very kind of classic, traditional, not too much going on in terms of any veggies or anything on that one, but I'm really excited to dig into it, see what we think here, and we will let you know. Let's do it. By the way, the food was ready instantly. My server was following me to where I was trying to sit. I looked outside and she just followed me outside and followed me back inside until I found this spot here in the corner. Excited to dig in. Food is extremely fast. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. First, I'm going to try the biscuit sandwich as is, and then I'll put on some maple syrup and some whipped cream. I'm excited to give it a shot. Cheers. Mm. Mm. So this biscuit bar sandwich, the chicken and not a waffle, is it's too good. Honestly, it's it's too good. It's the perfect combination of sweet and savory. You have a salty crust on that fried chicken, beautifully fried with a good amount of chicken inside for your protein. Sweet French toast biscuit. You almost can't even recognize it as a biscuit. Amazing combination of flavors. It looks so simple. Doesn't look like they've put anything else in there besides chicken and a biscuit, but tastes really fantastic. Let me try it with the whipped cream and the maple syrup too. The maple syrup and whipped cream add a hint of sweetness. It's that first flavor you taste. The sweet whipped cream and maple syrup, then you get to the sweet-ish biscuit French toast, then you get to the savory, salty fried chicken. Just adds another layer of flavor in there. Really fantastic brunch, breakfast, lunch sandwich here. Love it, gonna keep enjoying it. And there's a chance at this point I'll be getting more, we'll see. It's a pretty good sized sandwich too. So maybe I won't even be hungry for a second one. Maybe I'll have to come back at another time. Just wanna say again, that was too good. Like it was amazingly delicious. I ate through it so quickly. I feel like it was sort of maybe somewhat small, but it also seemed like a good quantity of food. 
I want to say about the size of my hand here in terms of the sandwich. So I wouldn't call it a huge sandwich, but it's probably similar to something you might get. For example, if you're at a drive through like a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Size-wise, probably very similar. Love the biscuit bar here. I want to give it a 9 out of 10, at least. Amazing flavors. I'm giving myself some time to digest here to figure out, do I want to go back? Do I want to order a second item? I've done this recently where I've ordered a second thing, started eating, and then realized I'm eating too much. So I'm giving myself a minute to digest, just kind of relax, enjoy the atmosphere. Really great stuff. And then maybe I'll get something else. So I'm feeling ready to jump back in line and order another biscuit because they're delicious and, you know, leftovers are acceptable, right? But the line is also long and it's kind of slow. So I'm debating getting up and standing over there. I think I should, you know, it's delicious, but I'll just have to wait in line for a bit again. So I'm here back in line. I don't know if I pointed out last time some of these signs. Look at this sign right here. Mind your biscuits and life will be gravy. Nice, a couple of cool signs. As well as this kind of biscuit bar signage wrapping this waiting line here. Really cool kind of setup of the place. I'm excited to maybe try pumpkin pie this time. I'm back for round two. <laughs> oh yeah, really good. Uh, I'm gonna try the pumpkin pie one. So this time I'm doing the pumpkin pie biscuit. I didn't know if I was hungry enough for the hoss. One of these days, I'd love to try the hoss. Maybe this will be my brunch breakfast spot for another day. Maybe I'll come back and try the hoss. But I've gotta say, I loved that chicken and waffle. I'm excited to try the pumpkin one. I'm not sure how long they'll have the pumpkin one around for. You know, it's a seasonal item. They might switch to a gingerbread or Christmassy one coming up. So gotta try pumpkin while I'm here since I'm a big pumpkin fan. So we'll see how it is. Just looking at them, I do think you get a better value with the chicken and not a waffle, but you know, it's pumpkin flavor here. So you gotta try the pumpkin flavoring, see how this one comes out. Let's give this one a shot. Smells really good from here. TBD. Not bad, not bad. It does have a nice pumpkin flavor to it, but not an extremely strong pumpkin flavor. I would say between the two, I prefer the chicken and not a waffle. The combination of sweet and savory really takes you far on that one. Now with maple syrup, let's give it a shot. I like it. Not as strong as a pumpkin, not as strong of a pumpkin flavor as I was expecting on this one. It's nice, but it's subtle in terms of pumpkin flavor. I could see them doing something like giving you pumpkin French toast instead of the regular French toast on the chicken and waffle. I think that might make for a nice combo. Between the two, I can definitely see myself coming back for the chicken and waffle. This one, unlikely. I just saw a seasonal one and I love pumpkin so I really wanted to try it. I feel like it's okay. Definitely coming back for that hoss in the future though. Not to mention this is a lot of sugar and you know I try not to eat a whole lot of sugar. I'm thinking about doing Starbucks later too so lots of sugar today. We'll see. Overall pumpkin pie biscuit, I would give it maybe a six and a half out of ten. It's not bad by any means, but not as flavorful as I was expecting. I was definitely blown away by the chicken and waffle of the two, and I would come back for that or one of the other protein ones again. And now on to so much more fun today. Delicious biscuit bar. I will definitely be back. In terms of my next step for today, my next location we'll visit, I have a couple thoughts in mind. I was thinking about going to White Rock Lake. Now I'm thinking to myself, well, SMU, the school is right around the corner here. So I might check that one out. And then there's Starbucks. Thinking about maybe getting a pumpkin spice latte, keeping the pumpkin routine going here for the day. Lots of options to consider. As I'm driving SMU, I'm seeing a lot of do not enter signs, a lot of places I can't go one way. So I'm not sure how much of the campus we'll see. We might just do a little driving tour here while I'm on the road, but wanted to give you an idea of what the campus looks like. In my opinion, this one has much more of a true campus feel than the University of Dallas that we checked out not too long ago. I can see students far more likely to live in some of these buildings, not these ones we're looking at right this moment, but some of the ones that I saw on the way in, perhaps. So I'm gonna continue to drive around a little bit more, see if I see any amazing sights to share with you, anything worth checking out and then maybe we'll continue onward to White Rock Lake, TBD. You can see it looks like you've got fraternities and sororities there. I saw Greek letters on these buildings, so perhaps that's where we are on their campus. It does seem to be a nice size campus and there's beautiful decorations all around. A fountain on that right side, hopefully you can see a nice library style building up there and not much traffic going on since it's the weekend. 
which is a huge benefit, of course. I believe this is the SMU Mustang. I think their mascot is the Mustangs, these horses. Look at how they're all wearing masks. That's really funny. You can see the SMU Mustangs wearing masks, staying safe during this time, and the signage reminding people to do so as well. There's an event center right here on our right and other large buildings, which make you think that maybe this is the recreational portion of campus, the sporting events, soccer, and otherwise. Hopefully you can see it. I'm not looking. You're just kind of looking out the window. So hopefully it's a nice view for you. You'll have to let me know. Not what's the what's the regular one then? Two percent? Uh, yeah, two percent. I guess I'll just do the regular one. <laughs> okay. So I've got myself a pumpkin spice latte. Thank you so much for your gift cards. I asked them if they do a skinny pumpkin spice latte, but turns out that means it's only low fat milk or non fat milk instead of two percent. I was more looking to minimize sugars, so I'm just getting a regular pumpkin spice latte here. It's worth it. Holiday season. I'll try it. Have some coffee. Have some sugar just to let you know what I think of it, get back in the holiday spirit, and then we'll go back to our healthy beverages. Of course, I still have my water here as well. Don't forget, gotta have the water. Mmm, not bad, not bad. At first I was thrown off because it was all whipped cream. I couldn't get anything out of the cup, but overall I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not overly pumpkin-y, but it's got a nice hint of pumpkin to it. I'd say not bad. You know, I usually get other, maybe sometimes healthier beverages, but sometimes frappuccinos. <laughs> so I could see myself getting it again, maybe. Probably more likely to do a different warm beverage. I don't know, a caramel latte or white chocolate mocha, perhaps. But it's not bad. And for the holiday season, you gotta have all the pumpkin-y items. All the pumpkin-y stuff. Cheers. Now let's see if we can check out White Rock Lake. I'm excited to see that area. So much to do in the few days that I have available during the daytime to share with you. So let's get back on the road. Finally, we have made it out during the daytime here. This is White Rock Lake. Take a look at the parking lot here behind me. Plenty of cars to go around. This is our view as soon as we get out of the car. Unbelievable to see the water. Huge lake here going around the Dallas area. I want to see if we can find a good walkway. Maybe we can go up and have a closer look at the water and maybe that's a walking trail down that way. So we'll have to see what we can see here, how close we can get to enjoy the waterfront view. And here we are right on the water. Look at this view here. You can see plenty of people enjoying the park behind us. I was just chilling at this park bench a moment ago. I still have my water with me, but I wanted to take a look by that water. Not this water, that water. You can see the city behind the trees in the background there. Amazing, unbelievable, beautiful view by the water. I'm not sure if there are any water beings in this little lake here in Texas. I can see ducks going up and down, so I don't know how close I should get to the water. You know, this is not Florida, but beautiful view on the lake here. I imagine it'd be very nice to be out on a boat. I see a boat off on the distance on our right there by the water, love it. I'm gonna see if I can walk around, give you a nice view all around White Rock Lake, love it. So we made it. I'm so glad we made it out to White Rock Lake here during the daytime. The advantage of a full weekend in Dallas. That's why I wanted to give myself enough time to enjoy at least one full weekend here in Dallas. I love the sound of the water hitting. I'm not quite sure what this is, like a man-made stone cement structure that the water hits up against, maybe to keep the water from flooding this park area, but love this peaceful ambient view. There's that structure I'm referring to. Looks like almost a couple of steps, as if you're walking up some cement staircase, and that is what's keeping the water from flooding this area. Although you can see maybe it is a little bit damp here on this side, not on this side, but on that side of the lake, of the park. Maybe that's why they built the step area there specifically. And as we continue further down, you'll see more foliage, less of the step structures and more foliage instead, keeping us nice and dry on this side of the lake. On the right of the lakefront is a trail. I'm seeing people walking or biking, enjoying being by the water. And on the left, the foliage wraps around the lake as we continue our way. You can see more trees, more ferns, and natural bushes 
wrapping around the lake. I'm not sure how far the lake goes. I believe it's huge, so I'm not sure I can walk the whole thing, but we'll see how much we can see. So here is more of the lake. People enjoying park benches with their pets, looking out at the water. Again, a beautiful view of the city. But I'm looking at my Maps app here, and it looks like it would be an hour walk just to walk, not even halfway around. Take a look at that, walking from maybe a third of the way up to a third of the way down of White Rock Lake would be about an hour walk crazy. So I definitely can't walk that whole thing. I have to figure out and prioritize which parts of it we want to see. Maybe next time I'll have to get a bike so I can bike it here and show you that way. Love the relaxing atmosphere of the environment here. I'm not sure if I should keep going this way or the other way. I'm going to study my map a little bit and then I'll decide. Continuing this direction I was heading a moment ago, you can see not only people sleeping on the grass, enjoying a relaxing day by the water, but sailboats. You can see maybe a few, I don't know if that would technically be a sailboat, but it's got a sail and individuals on them, maybe very small sailboats. I feel like that's probably what that is, is individual person sailboats. And we're coming up on a boat dock ahead. You'll see what that looks like here. Here is this boat dock area on the White Rock Lake. You can see what looks like maybe a house or some sort of building off in the distance and cars driving by that area. But the boats right by us here love the ability to be out on the water, enjoy a beautiful, fairly sunny and warm day in Dallas. I like it. So it looks like this is Corinthian Sailing Club where all these people have their boats going out on their sailboats. Looks like someone's training their dog to swim in the water there as well. Very cool. But I love to see this sailing club right here in Dallas where people all have their sailboats come together on this dock, on this port, in order to share some boat space. I'm not sure how much further I'll walk in this direction, but I love seeing the Corinthian Sailing Club from this angle. I've walked past the sailing club entrances. You can see way off in the distance over there is a bridge that looks like maybe people can sail underneath and a variety of boats here on the dock and in the water. This is probably my favorite spot so far. Look at this. There's a little pier here I'm able to walk out onto and see all these boats live in action. Amazing. Something floating over there, maybe a tree branch. Not really sure, but I want to get to the end of here. I'm trying to be careful while I'm walking, but get to the end of here and take some nice pictures. Show you what that looks like. Beautiful. Love it. Here it is out on the far right side of this pier here. Love it. Look at me practically standing in the water, except there's a pier, a little mini pier here. It's almost scary in a way to be out on the water like this. I feel like the pier does look to be in pretty good condition, but again, love being able to look out at the water. My biggest concern here is for you, the GoPro. I don't want you to find yourself in the water because then I'd have a problem because I don't have the waterproof piece on. I have the media mod on. There's that bridge I was talking about earlier back off in the distance. You can see it crossing over there. And I saw a drone a moment ago. There it is way up in the air. Someone's flying their drone, maybe getting some practice in. Love that beautiful, beautiful sights here on the pier of White Rock Lake just by Corinthian Sailing Club. Love it. I'm glad we walked in this direction. Love seeing these sights. And while I'm standing out here on the pier, I'm trying to get a gauge for what might be nice to see. That bridge looks like a lot of fun, but I'm wondering if maybe we can park over there or drive over the bridge. And on the other side, I'm not seeing a whole lot. There are some homes by the water, which is a nice aesthetic. How cool would that be to live on a lake just like this in Dallas? But I'm gonna see if I can drive around to that bridge. That sounds like maybe the most fun here. And then we'll continue our adventures wherever they may take us. Something I hadn't taken the time to think about before. I'm just standing out here, relaxing, enjoying the water. But I'm seeing these boats out in the water with these buoys, I think they're called, going down into the water. And it makes me wonder, is anyone on those sailboats out there? I mean, how would the boats be out there themselves? All of these boats out in the water be out there themselves if people weren't on them. But perhaps it's the sailing club's way of making more storage space without using up the whole dock, or maybe they did use up the whole dock and needed more storage space, because I can't imagine not being visible, just being parked out in the water here and not on the deck enjoying the sunlight. Why would you be in the cabin inside the sailboat if you were out on the water? So I think it's probably extended parking, but just something 
that I'm thinking about here. Lots of boats sailing around. That larger boat is probably enjoying some seating somewhere on the deck, but maybe not. Today is a beautiful day. It's in the 60s as opposed to the 40s I've been experiencing in the evenings. And it was such a nice day to stand out on the pier on the water. I love that feeling. So relaxing, refreshing. I could do that all day. But for now, making our way back to the car to see if we can drive over that bridge we saw from here. Let's see what we can do. On the way up, I didn't spend much time on the trail because there were many bikes on the trail, but it does permit a beautiful view of the water from this mini road up here. Another beautiful view of the lake walking by that same junction I showed you on the way up, except I am up on this higher trail when I was walking by the water previously. You can't stand in a bad location here in White Rock Lake, just a beautiful view all around. And just as I'm returning to the car, I don't know if I showed you the view of the city past White Rock Lake, a beautiful city view. Love being able to see that from the water. Always a nice feeling. In many ways, reminds me of the Bay Area, the waterfront leading up to downtown. I like it. In order to get to the bridge, I actually have to drive through more of a suburb area. You can still see the park maybe on the left, but we should be coming up on the bridge here soon. Look at the view of the city ahead of us. Hopefully you can see. I can't tell what you can see, but we're coming up on that bridge here on our left momentarily. You can see the view of Dallas from ahead of us, behind those trees now. Love it. And this is that drivable bridge, but on the left looks like the walkable bridge. They're calling a dog park. That bridge over there is for humans to walk on, for dogs to play on possibly. And it's kind of challenging to get over there, but I'm gonna see what we can do. This is White Rock Lake Dog Park. As the name would suggest, the dogs are plentiful. I'm making my way into this park area to walk across that bridge, but there's so many dogs out here, it's funny. I'm not quite sure how I can get to that bridge from here. I see the keep gate closed at all times, the dogs playing around. Again, I'm just, I'm trying to get to the bridge in the back and I'm not quite sure. Maybe I go through this way, let's, tr let's try that. Walking through three layers of gates here, just all the gates. I think the purpose of this is to keep the dogs inside the dog park, but you can walk out through the dog park to the bridge that we are questing to visit. And I think we have made it, folks. Wait a second here. Wait a second. No, I'm stuck in a circle now. So the good news here is I'm closer to the bridge, and this is a beautiful waterfront view as well, but I'm not quite yet where I want to be. I think maybe I want to drive across that bridge to try to walk across this lake. You know what, maybe this is just fine. <laughs> maybe we got close enough to the bridge from here, but it's beautiful to be able to look out on the water and see all the dogs playing around in this area, love it. But you can see people walking across the bridge if you're looking for more of a scenic waterfront view. I don't love driving out here. Huge challenge for me personally in Dallas, but I'm comfortable walking. So I'm gonna see if maybe we can walk around the dog park area or maybe through this section of the dog park area in order to make it out to that bridge. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the answer is yet. Maybe we walk all the way around. Walking, no problem. Driving, problem, at least for me. Did I give you an idea, by the way, of how many dogs are in this dog park? It makes you wonder, are there more humans or are there more dogs? Definitely fully occupied with furry friends, which I think we can all appreciate. But I'm looking for that bridge. I think if I walk around the park, I'll be able to make it. We'll find out here momentarily. Nope, it's more fencing back here, but no walkway. We're gonna have to go through the dog park area, I guess. Maybe a couple layers of dog park will take us out to the other side of the dog park. I really, I really don't know at this point. I think we made it after a long perilous journey with several dogs trying to pass me through these gates. I think I might have to have a free escape without dogs trying to sneak past me. No promises though, no promises. Hey, hey Mr. Pug, see you later, Puggy. Okay. We made it. This biking, walking path area here leads to that bridge that we were trying to make it to. And now we're here. I'm excited to walk on the bridge, show you the views, enjoy some afternoon ambiance, and be on our way. We made it. The gates are high on either side, but you can look over the bridge into the water, and I love that view, I love that atmosphere. We drove over that bridge over there a moment ago, 
and this is the dog park side of the lake and this is the rest of the lake the part with all the boats on it love it i'm so glad i had the chance to walk this waterfront view here love to be able to look out at the water enjoy the atmosphere the ambiance just spend time on the water one of my favorite places to be so i'm glad we're doing it here today on this side of the lake coming off the bridge from the dog park opposite side you can see it's more natural not so much that cement bridge between the water and the land but more just nature and dirt one last look at all the dogs playing in the park here hope they're having a fantastic fun-filled day and hope you are too as i make my way outward and onward to our next adventure and i'm back at starbucks now with my hot tea refill i've got the emperor cloud and mist green tea here smells pretty good i'm excited to give it a shot i usually go for the herbal ones i guess i'm going to be caffeine overloaded today we'll see how that plays out there it is alive in the cup Got a nice green hue to it it did take them a while because they're pretty busy here so i'm still letting it seep for a while kind of let the flavor soak in there and then we'll give it a shot it smells great cheers so my gopro ran out of battery and i came back to the car to get the other battery but the tea is good I feel like maybe I've had Emperor Cloud and Mist before. It has kind of a subtle honey taste to it, even though I don't add any sweetener to my tea. So overall, I'd say it's a nice tea. If you're looking for a green tea, a little bit of caffeine from Starbucks, it's a nice choice. Now to continue the day of adventures. I'm not sure what stop is next for us. We'll figure that out. And there's so much more to share with you. But what's the closest and the most fun thing we're hoping to do. You know, I gotta plan the right activities for the right days. Since I have a full day here, gotta capitalize, right? I'm now driving around the south side of White Rock Lake just to see what this side looks like. Doesn't really seem like there's any parking over here, but hopefully you can see the water and the biking trails. People biking all around the south side of the lake here. Kind of closer city view coming up in front of me. Again, I have no idea what your view looks like, but hopefully it looks good and you get an idea of what I'm talking about. You're able to see kind of the perimeter of White Rock Lake from the south side. Look at that trail right there. Not a trail, but a bridge and the water running past it. Love it. So multiple sides of White Rock Lake to appreciate here. A really nice spot if you're looking to check out more of town. The southeast side of White Rock Lake seems to be not only suburban, but also lots of park space, space to walk around. You don't have as much of that direct lakefront view here, but you are able to see a lot of nature. There's a lot of park type space out here to be able to see all of the nature going on. And it seems like we are close to back where we started with White Rock Lake, being able to enjoy these sights out here. I like it. Another part of White Rock to drive, to walk, to bike, to enjoy. You can park back where we passed momentarily a go, which I might do, but I think it's a lot like the other parts of the lake that we've seen, so I might just pass on it. But what's very interesting is the residences. At least I see mailboxes. I think there are homes up there too, where people might live on our left. Can you imagine living right across from the lake there? Beautiful spot, love that. Look at this, not just homes by that lake, but mansions i feel like unbelievably huge residences here right by that lake you could easily walk to the lake if you wanted to enjoy an evening or a weekend day love that great spot to be based maybe if you're in the dallas area i wonder i wonder how nice that would be it seems like it would be nice but who how can i know so i've spent a good portion of the day here by the lake it's pretty close to dinner time, but I'm not sure if I'm hungry enough to eat. I've had a lot of sugary beverages and such today. We'll see how things end up going. A bit north of White Rock Lake is Fair Oaks Park. You can see this park area has plenty of play equipment. You've got a basketball court, some playgrounds for kids. This looks like a baseball field here on my right. And on the other side, possibly another baseball field or football field, some very large sporting fields out here. Plenty of space if you're looking to be away from the water, maybe away from the crowds that the lake brings, but still be in nature and be able to enjoy the beautiful weather outdoors here in Dallas, Texas. 
Now, I haven't explored this area too much quite yet, as you can tell, but it seems like this one might be a little bit trickier to walk because I don't really see so many walkways, so many sidewalks, and I'm not really sure what the activities are to do up here. So maybe I'll head up towards that park area and we can take a look. So I've walked a bit further from the baseball field and on our right, you have the kids play area, playground with a couple of slides, some monkey bars, still getting some use during the current climate. I'm glad they're able to have some fun and a basketball court ahead. You can see a few kids playing basketball ahead as well. It does look like there's possibly a school across the street, which is maybe why all these activities, recreational activities, are in this area. It's nice to see that they've got a bunch going on in the event that maybe you go to school across the way or you live out here and you want to enjoy some relaxing park time. There are a few trees out here in the park and I like how the trees are laid out. They're not too densely packed with trees, but at the same time, it's enough to give you shade here and there. So maybe we'll just hang out between some trees for a while, enjoy the nicely weathered day. You can see I'm not even wearing my long sleeve shirt anymore over this t-shirt. So I'm pretty comfortable given the current weather while the sun is still up. I'll maybe enjoy a little bit more time relaxing here in this park, maybe find a park bench and sit on it for a while and then possibly enjoy some dinner with you. You know, it's getting close to that dinner time and my hunger, even if it doesn't kick in, I should probably eat something <laughs> just in case. Plus I can show you a restaurant that way too, right? Walking by the sidewalk near the road, I'm noticing something really interesting and no, it's not Conrad High School. It's that this sidewalk looks like it's possibly freshly paved. It's a much darker gray than usual and you can see lines across through it, whereas this is a standard sidewalk. That sidewalk and the one behind us were more freshly paved looking. At least I think that's what that look means, is that it was recently done, which is nice. It definitely feels comfortable on the feet as well. But the reason I'm making my way over here is to show you the Fair Oaks Park sign. I saw this sign from across the way, but wanted to take a closer look just because it looks cool. City of Dallas Park and Recreation, Fair Oaks Park. It's nice that they have these natural parks distributed throughout the city for you to just enjoy some outdoor space, breathe the fresh air and relax. Now for dinner, I'm going back to Taco Deli. I'm really excited to get back to Taco Deli. I totally forgot about this place. I was looking for food in the area. Last time I've been to Taco Deli, I think was in Houston and it had some great breakfast tacos. It's not breakfast taco time right now. It's dinner taco time, but we'll see how good their dinner tacos are. I'm also not sure if they're doing indoor seating right now. I guess we'll figure that piece out once we get inside. So here is the queue for Taco Deli. They've got some indoor tables back there. I have to figure out what I want to go for here. Maybe I'll ask for some recommendations. We got some merch, all kinds of good stuff. Let's figure out what sounds good. Wow. Yeah. So that's why you switched to dinner. Yeah, to kind of keep this afloat. Wow. So, yeah. That's, that's, yeah, I'm glad it's been working out. So people have been showing up for dinner too then? Yeah, yeah, of course. You no, know, people have been, uh, our customers have been um, praying for dinner. For, yeah, for years. For <laughs> that's awesome. Um, here are the soda options at Taco Deli. Look at that, you got all kinds of soda. You know, I'm not a huge soda drinker, but they also have kombucha. Let me show you the fridge there. I am gonna grab some water though. And I'm also trying some of these salsas. So they have everything from Verde all the way up to hottest salsa. I'm trying this hot one right here, habaneros and garlic. Excited to dig into that. And let me show you the kombucha options as well. But first, water. By the way, here are the drink options at Taco Deli. Really cool, they have holy kombucha, which I've never heard of or seen. They said it's also potentially locally sourced. You can find it at places like Whole Foods around here. So maybe at some point I'll give that a shot. Not tonight, maybe tonight, we'll see. For now, I just ordered the one taco because I'm not extremely hungry, but uh, I'm excited to try their dinner tacos. Apparently a brand new thing for Taco Deli. I was told Taco Deli started doing the dinner tacos because they couldn't do so much breakfast tacos or they were having a hard time during the current climate. So they rolled these out to help support during the current climate and apparently it's going well. And in case you didn't get a good enough look at the menu, here it is, a closer look. Of course, you can look it up online too, but I like how they're doing dinner tacos now every day after 11. That's awesome, I like it. For now, this is my back corner seating location. Look at this, all the way in the back of Taco Deli. I have my own little zone here, which I love. It's also an early dinner time, so 
probably another reason why not too many people are here, but I'm excited to dig in and give it a shot. By the way, I don't know if you heard it, but Taco Deli used to close after lunch, but they rolled out dinner tacos given the current health climate to help them stay in business. I feel like I said this already, but people apparently had been asking for it for a while, and this was the perfect time to do it. So dinner tacos, maybe one of the first to try dinner tacos at Taco Deli during the current climate. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see, let you know what we think. Taco Deli, dinner taco review. Here we go. Boom, there it is. I don't even remember what I got, but it's a taco. It's the Bifocito one, maybe Picocito was what it was called. Man, I should have taken a picture of that menu. Whoopsies, I'll go back and do it later. Look inside that beautiful taco. Wow, looks amazing. So excited to dig in with the avocado, the cheese, the beef in there. Again, I'm not particularly hungry tonight, but you know, I had to eat something and I had to try this one. Let's see how it is. Let's go, baby. Give this one a shot. Are you excited? I'm excited. Cheers. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice job, Taco Deli, on the dinner tacos. I wasn't hungry. I feel like I might even be hungrier than I was after eating that first bite. Amazing flavor on that beef. It's like seasoned perfectly, braised, would you call it? I don't know. A little spicy, a little barbecue-y, maybe a soy style with the fresh avocado in there. He told me all their ingredients were generally locally sourced when possible. Man, Taco Deli, always a winner. So glad I came back here for some dinner tacos. Let's have some more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot that I have technology. This is called the El Picocito, and it tastes like a teriyaki sauce, but it looks like it's a grilled beef tenderloin with chipotle sesame, adobo, avocado, and queso fresco. Man, what a winner here. Nice work, Taco Deli. Nine out of 10? That sounds pretty good. Maybe, maybe even nine and a half. Love it. I swear I was not hungry when I came over here. I'm like, I'm gonna get one taco because I'm not really feeling like dinner. And this was a good choice. I forgot about the sauce in there. The chipotle sesame adobo, I guess this is. Or maybe this is the avocado. No, this has to be the chipotle sesame. Totally forgot about the sauce. Was just enjoying the taco without the sauce. Let's try the sauce. Nice. Ooh, spicy. Spicy. Oh, spicy. Mm. 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 Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, no. Oh, no water. Yo, I literally forgot that that was the Dora, the hot sauce, and not <laughs> the Chipotle sauce. I just poured a mound of super spicy sauce on my taco. Wow. Super hot fire. Tasty, but, but use with caution. Yo, Taco Deli, El Picocito, that was the bomb. It was the bomb.com. Loved it, would definitely get it again. I will be coming back to try some other tacos from Taco Deli. That's Torchy's competition right there. Amazing, delicious, love the flavors here. Taco Deli, dinner tacos, great work. I remember the breakfast ones being awesome. Dinner tacos, awesome as well. As tempted as I am to get another taco, I feel like I should save it for another day or another morning. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow for breakfast and make that a whole nother vlog. Do you wanna see Taco Deli breakfast and dinners? Let me know. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today. As you may be able to tell, I'm shooting this outro a little bit early because the sunlight is my friend for now. So I wanna make sure I have a chance to illuminate myself when I say, have a fantastic night, make it an amazing day, stay positive, stay happy, stay healthy, focus on the positive things that make you smile. And don't forget my new current schedule over here is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern time. And that might change at some point, but that's what I've been doing for a couple months now if you didn't know what my current schedule was. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And until next time, play on. Are you ready for a weekend of delicious fun? In front of me on the wall, you can see the biscuit menu as well. So the chicken and waffle is like a biscuit front. By the way, this food was ready. By the way, this food was ready. By the way, the food was ready instantly. My waiter, I'm excited to give it a shot. So this biscuit sandwich, 
So this biscuit French toast chicken. So this biscuit chicken sandwich. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect combination of sweet and savory. You've got like salty, besides just chicken, and the maple syrup and whipped cream adds an additional hint of sweetness, an additional flavor of sweetness, before you get to that savory kind of salty. Just adds another flavor, size-wise probably. I'm giving my time. So this time I'm doing the pumpkin pie biscuit. Got to try pumpkin while it's here since I'm a. As I'm driving SMU, I'm seeing a lot of kind of do not. Look at how they're all wearing masks. That's really funny. But it's got a nice kind of hint. Take a look at our arrival. We just parked here in this parking lot behind me. You can see plenty of cars to go around. There's that structure I'm referring to. It looks like almost a couple of stent. And it looked like. Love the Riyadh. And while I'm standing out here on the pier, I'm trying to get a gauge for what might n Today is a beautiful day. In order to get to the bridge, I actually have to drive through. Continue straight on, then use the right lane to bear right onto Mockingbird Lane. But we should be coming up on the bridge soon. Use the right soon. lane to bear right onto Mockingbird Lane. But we should be coming up on the bridge. So my GoPro ran out of batteries. And I don't know if I'm allowed to go this way. There's a do not enter sign right there. A bit north. Plenty of space if you're looking to be away from the water and therefore away from the crowds, but to still be a part of nature here in Dallas. Plenty of space if you're looking that park area and we can take a look. It's nice they have these natural parks kind of distributed with Chipotle, sesame, um, yo, El Taco, it was the bomb.com, it was the bomb. Loved it, would definitely get again. <laughs>